I recently spent over $8,000 on return pallets from Costco. And once we received everything from the semi truck, we brought it into the warehouse, unboxed everything, and had a projected value of what we think we might profit from. But today we're getting down to business, we're getting photos, and we're getting everything posted, and then we're gonna start making some sales to really find out how much money we're gonna make. But let's not talk any longer. We got work to do, so let's get to it. not hot at all. Okay, so for this one right here, I need to get a picture, but I have two problems. I have pallets stacked behind it and I have a stacked couch next to it. Not really the best aesthetic for sales photos. I've actually sold this exact couch before, so I'll just reuse the photos that I have for there and move this out of the way and put that like in the corner of some space over there. Uh, and that'll give me a chance to scoot this one up a little bit and get some good photos out the pallets. So let's do that. All right, so at this point, I pretty much have photos of everything. This did take, I'll be honest, this did take a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, at first, I couldn't find the electric cords for some of these couches, and that kind of threw me off. I got a little nervous, like I was gonna have to go to Walmart and buy some of them, but I found a lot of them in like compartments of the couches. So I was, after all, able to power up some of these recliners and get them reclined for the photos, and also to make sure they work. Uh, I need another rug, probably. I'm using this blue rug for like every single photo. Maybe I guess you should get some other rugs. Uh, <laughs> which is fine, it's a cool rug, but blue and blue kind of blend a bit too much. There's no contrast in the photo. I'm working on my staging game. It's something I'm trying to improve upon, but the baseline so far has been zero. So pretty much anything is an improvement. Now I still do have a couple items over here that I have yet to get to, but the good news is these are the ones that I feel most confident in the fact their condition is like grade A. Instead of doing like photos in here, I'm gonna actually try posting the stock image of that that I can get off of online. And maybe that stock image like is a beautiful photo and it attracts more people to click on it. So we will run that as like the A, B test with all these other ones being photos I took, and that one's gonna be the stock image. And we'll see what the results are. I'll let you guys know. Uh, and then of course we have my two favorite lounge chairs in the back over here. That's sarcasm, by the way. I'll do the same thing with them, the stock photos. And then the last thing in the back over there is that uh, trundle bed, not a Murphy bed. I was incorrect and someone corrected me. That is the sofa with the trundle bed. So this will be my stock image section and everything else here will be my actual photo section. I actually really like being here. This is kind of fun being here. This feels natural, like we're building something. So I'm very excited to have this space versus just the storage unit. So I'm just gonna move this stuff back inside. I'll probably come back this evening, open these up, and then I'll just uh, I'll check back with you guys then. But I'm gonna go home now, hang out with the fam, hang out with the kids, post these items. All right, see you soon. About going back tonight, that's not gonna happen. I think instead I'll just have some of these chips and some of this guac and uh, post these items for sale. That sounds like a much better plan to me. Okay guys, I think we're gonna make our first sale in just a few minutes. This is actually the most single expensive item that I have so far. This is a sectional that's listed for $3,300 online. I think my unit price is like 500 something dollars. They're gonna be arriving in like the next 10 minutes or so, so hopefully we can show this thing really well and make the sale official. Let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. First sale is now. 
now in the books. Those people were so great, man. They loved it. We tested everything. Everything, of course, works really, really well. We ended up settling on $17.50, which is much lower than I wanted to. It's a little bit more than half the MSRP price, but to be honest with you guys, like I said, my unit cost isn't very high, so I'm still gonna make over a grand. So the first sale in the books now, we're off to a really good start. I can't wait to see where this leads. I know we've got more coming on here. I've got like 20 listings probably, so the messages are definitely flying in right now. And I presume we're gonna have some more sales here very soon. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit once we get the next one happening. Let's go. So we have the second truckload coming in today. We received the first one. I still want to fill this place out. I still want to get more inventory, increase the volume which we're selling things, which in turn would increase our profits. So I got to get some stuff moved out of the way, clear some space here, get everything ready. Let's go. Much better. Can you believe we unloaded most of these by hand last time? <laughs> So believe it or not, we got that unload done in like 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes compared to last time was like, I think last time was like two hours. It was, it was a lot, last time was a lot. Now let me organize everything here and I'll start to break some stuff down and show you what we've got. Right now it's in a complete mess. There's just stuff everywhere. Uh, I don't even have enough room for everything in here until I get it all organized. I have some stuff sitting outside still. I think someone just drove by, they might be walking in here. If he doesn't, I'm going to scrap this part of the video, but... Oh, you know what? It's the guy that's going for this. I go. Here. All kinds of things. I made sure I had yours nice and easy that's to access the one, here right? in front. Yeah. Yeah, I need a microphone. So okay, you know what that means. Yo! <laughs> We made a sale. That was one of our Thomasville Tisdales. Those are the $2,000 couches. Uh, we're listing them for like $1,500. Although I did just sell that one for $1,300, so they got a bit of a deal. But uh, all right, so we got to keep it going. We've got another one getting sold tomorrow. We've made a couple sales already. So let's see how much we can make of running this thing full operation. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Today's a really busy day. I've got like multiple sales going on. I had couches that were in the back that I'm selling today. The truck has arrived an hour early. I'm not blaming the truck driver, by the way. I'm not even blaming the people that schedule it. I'm just, I've realized that I'm like really obsessed with punctuality. Maybe it's because I was in the military, I don't know. My point is, I don't like being late and I don't like it when people are late for me. Although I guess they're not late, they're just like super early, which isn't maybe quite as bad. Uh, but still inconvenient nonetheless and makes planning difficult. So anyway, no hate for the driver, no hate for the company, but man, something systemically is wrong with that booking system. We had to move this stuff out, get the couches out, get the other couch being sold today put out there. Everything is where it needs to go. The truck is arriving here. I haven't even, I haven't even talked to you guys about the last one that I got. Uh, I just got so busy with everything that I haven't had a chance. But anyway, let's get to the business now. Okay, here we go. Somebody's here to buy one of the sofas that I pulled out in advance, which was a pretty good idea, if you ask me. Okay, we're having quite the day today. So we got another load, we had a sale made, we're getting another sale right now. I have people that are messaging me saying they wanna come by today. Business is booming. Oh my goodness, guys, but I'm getting worn out. This is, um, this is another level <laughs> from where we were before. Uh, we're definitely moving in the territory of this no longer being like a side hustle uh, and this being an actual business that someone could grow, invest in, and do for the long term. Let's keep this day going. There we go. All right, I see you. Good news is, she likes it. That is good news. All right, just finished that one. One second. She bought 
one of those couches. She's paying 600 bucks a couch. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and bring the other one, but she did go ahead and pay me for the first one today. Let's call it a day. I gotta go to work. I gotta coach some soccer this afternoon and this evening, so let's head on out of here. Today was a good day. We got a lot of good stuff happening. I'll catch up with y'all then. Now listen, a lot has happened this episode. And in fact, I'm struggling to figure out how to include all the details because there's just so much going on. And for these recaps, I wanna give all the details, but be as concise as possible moving forward. Because frankly, people start to click off of these end of episode financials and it really hurts the reach of the videos, so I'm gonna do it fast. So for today's episode, we received all of our pending shipments and now have all of our items listed for sale. So far, based on what has sold, the A-B test shows that people prefer the photos of the actual items rather than the stock image. And on top of everything going on here, I've sold a lot of items out of our old storage units and I've since closed them out. More on that in another episode. And also here is the new channel net worth once we account for all the sales made and new shipments that have arrived. Trust me guys, next episode, we're gonna keep these sales rolling in and keep that net worth number climbing higher and higher to that million dollar goal. As always, everybody, thank you so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.